Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the High Gain series. High Gain. Love it. Today, Love it. we have the Solil. At least I think it's pronounced Solil. We haven't been corrected yet, so it's pronounced Solil. <laughs> this is the Galaxy Purple Burst. So, got lots to tell you about on this. It's going to be a shorter video, but I want you guys to know who this, manu this uh, luthier is. So... I found this guy because I'm constantly digging through stuff, trying to find, you know, new luthiers. And I went on his site, and he had three guitars on his site. Well, he had three guitars I could see, but this was the only one with a hardtail bridge. The other two had tremolos. So I called him and was talking to him about maybe kind of learning a little something about who he was. And long story short, we ended up spending most of the day on the phone. And then we called and talked most of the day the next day. <laughs> And I really liked this guitar because I was, as I was talking to him, I was reading the specs of it. But when it came time, I was like, man, I really would like to buy that guitar because it's got a hard tail. And he's like, well, he goes, I'll say the guitar. He goes, but you got to know some stuff up front. He said, um, that's actually a prototype on the actual finish that's on it. And he goes, it really hasn't sold because that finish didn't come out right. And so we talked some more and we talked some more. And long story short, he did end up giving me a discount on it. Um, but once I spent two days talking to him, I found out how he builds guitars. The little nuances on the finish that didn't come out to his liking um, is perfectly fine with me. And I happily paid him and he shipped it to me. And dude, I, I own 16 of some of the, of the best luthier, custom luthier guitars on this planet. And uh, I'm in love with most of them, but I'm going to tell you what, that guitar right there um, is as good, if not better, than anything that I own. And it's different, and that's one of the reasons I bought it. And we'll get into that in just a second. <laughs> so this thing is so full of features, I've got to cheat. So don't get mad at me for cheating. So... Um, of course, the tone woods, uh, the woods on this are all tone woods, and they're premium woods. Um, the pickups are direct to body mount, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, so you're going to have um, everything on it. The tuners and the bridge are hip shot, and he's kind of like me. That's all he really believes in. And those are eighteen to one hip shot locking tuners. Um, it has stainless steel jumbo Jess car. Uh, stainless steel frets, and then it has a two-way adjustable truss rod on the inside, and it does have the spoke wheel down at the bottom, which I love, which makes mm -hmm. it easy. One of the things that drew me to this guitar, there was actually a couple, but this has a different neck on it. Uh, I'll tell you about the materials in a minute, but this is a D to C neck, and if you're familiar with custom necks, a lot of times people will make a C to D neck. Um, and they'll put the thicker side of the back of the neck up on the baritone side, up on the on the top side. He did this opposite because just like he's a lot like me, he doesn't have the longest fingers in the world. So this is more of a C up to your higher E uh, in standard tuning. And it's more of a D to the bottom. And when he first told me about it, it intrigued me because I don't, I don't think I've ever played one like that, you know? Mm -hmm. But when you're playing it, especially if you're doing runs, it gives your finger more place to sit. Um, there's probably a lot of people out there that would play it and never notice it, but I noticed it. Right. And I really wanted to try it out. I just didn't want to buy one of the guitars with tremolos. Mm -hmm. So um, here are the specs. The body of this is Sapile. Um, the top is a 4A flamed maple top. The neck is flamed maple. The fretboard is roasted flame maple. Um, it's got that D to C modern profile, C to D modern profile. It's got black fret marker dots, uh, black side marker dots. Uh, I told you about the Jessicar Jumbo stainless frets. Um, it's got a Graph Tech nut. And, of course, it has the two-way <clears throat> uh, truss rod in it. Um, the tuners are hip shot. Grip lock, open gear 18 ones. Um, the bridge is a hip shot, six string fixed, string through. Um, it has Seymour Duncan's Alpha and Omega set direct to the body. Now, that was another reason that I bought this. I'll, I'll tell you about that in a minute. The knobs are Goto. Um, 
And the string tree is a Floyd Rose string tree on this, and it has Dunlop strat locks. Now, the reason, one of the reasons I bought this is those Alpha and Omega pickups. They are completely out of our wheelhouse mm -hmm. from what we usually play. They are designed for metal, but those are more of a treble pickup. Yeah. And I was really wondering, since it has my two favorite woods, the mm -hmm. Pele body, maple top, how those more of a treble pickup would sound being a direct mount to the body. Right. Kind of go back to that old tone wood deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And man, um, I'm just going to tell you what, that little guitar plays so freaking well. I'm going to try to do a close up for you. Um, how it's put together is impeccable. Do I wish I would have got a hardtail with a um, without a prototype finish on it? Absolutely, but I wouldn't trade that guitar for nothing. I did get it a little bit cheaper than his standard prices, um, but it don't matter. That guitar is really amazing the way he did it, and uh, I know he's not as happy maybe with the way the finish come out on it. But man, that's a that's going uh, nobody will ever get that guitar. That's a really good guitar. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know anything about this guy, you really ought to go check him out, man. He's got a couple, usually has a couple guitars on his site and uh, he's here in America. Um, just stupid impressed with the craftsmanship. And I literally bought that guitar offline after just speaking to him about how he builds guitars. And if you speak to him, you already know, Yeah. you, you know what I mean? He's, he's so meticulous about everything. So, we told you a little something about it. What we're going to do now is we're going to shut up. We're going to let you hear some of it in the mix. And we're going to come back out and we're going to kind of give you our final thoughts on it, try to give you a price point, how to get it. And, um, yeah, you really need to check this guy out, though. Yeah. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. You got to hear a little bit of it in the mix. Mm -hmm. um, if you're used to this channel, you know I'm a huge bare knuckle guy. We do like Lundgrens. There's a lot of pickups out there. Aurora Tone is probably one of our favorites also. But if you listen to these pickups, just go click back through and find another guitar and, and listen to the difference in the sound. And the reason I bought this and wanted it so bad, I think, was because if I ever get back into pl to playing again with somebody else... I think that guitar with those pickups matched to a bare knuckle guitar mm -hmm. would be amazing tone. Yeah. Because bare knuckle has so much of a bottom end and yep. a bottom mid, where this has a little bit of bottom end, but more mid and a little bit more high. Mm -hmm. And I think in a mix, I think you could really make that sound freaking amazing for tone. They would both probably complement each other really well. Now, you've been playing on it. What do you think about it? It's a lot of fun to play. Uh, it's just like you said, it's got great tone to it. And um, just the fretboard alone just feels really good. So one of the things that drew me to this guitar, I got to see some close-up pictures of it, is how the actual fretboard is attached to the neck. And a, a lot of times you'll see the difference in the two. Yeah. 
this one, if they were the same color, mm -hmm. you would never know they was attached. Yeah. That's some of the meticulous stuff he does. Turn around, let them see that heel joint. That heel joint is, um, I mean, there's, you, you can't even tell that, Sarah, if you was blind and I put your hand on it, you wouldn't even know that there was a difference there. I mean, it's really, the craftsmanship on this guitar is amazing on all the wood. And it would have probably come out better had I just went ahead and bought one of the tremolo ones because they don't have any of the prototype finishes on them. You know what I mean? They're mm -hmm. newer. All that was way in the past. But everything that makes that guitar, that guitar, I didn't even care. I wouldn't care if it was flat black. Because I knew when I got it, I knew how good it was going to be. And yeah. it has well surpassed that. Mm -hmm. So make sure to do yourself a favor, man. Make sure you go out and check them out. It's Solil Custom Guitars. Yeah, it's Solil. 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 And they're out of Texas. So if you're in America, uh, hit this guy up, man. He does amazing work. Super nice guy to talk to. Uh, he will be coming on and doing a Meet Your Maker, so you'll all get introduced to him here pretty yep. quick. And we'll learn how to pronounce the name accurately. Yeah, and he'll probably yell at us yeah. for pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> but if you're in the market, you know, we have certain, we have 16 custom luthier guitars. And you, you guys, if you're used to our channel, you know who we really favor. And I, I hate to start naming names because I'm not going to remember all of them. But, you know, we favor Reichardt. We favor Ashwood. Uh, we favor Lucello. We favor Arda. We mm -hmm. favor BHI. Yep. And I promise you, you need to put this guy on the list. Mm -hmm. Uh, this guy is as good, and just to give you an idea, he is going to be making me a different guitar. And I would send this guy happily. I would send him money in the blind and just go make me something. And if you see the uh, the, the woodwork on this and, and the attention to detail, you'd understand why. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I know he's uh, he's got his hangups with how it came out, you know, the finish on mm -hmm. the top. But, dude, the back of it is just absolutely beautiful as well. Like, it... You know, this this aside, even without the color, I just love the way this back looks. It's beautiful. <clears throat> it's really nice, man. Mm -hmm. And it's and even cutout. it's even better when you touch it. Yeah. The woodwork on this is immaculate. Mm -hmm. So uh we you will be seeing another one from this guy on our channel. Uh it's just a, on his workload and everything. We will be getting another one from him. But um if you're in that world, man, and you're looking for a custom guitar, don't don't stop looking to you. At least check out what this guy's got because it'd be well worth your money. Yeah. So this guitar retails for somewhere between about $25 to $2,900, somewhere in that area. And I'm just kind of guessing that because we came to a, a price around $1,500 on it. And it comes with a really nice, uh, probably, you know, when we got that Vola, I said that was the best, best gig bag I'd ever got. Mm -hmm. Well, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> this stinking gig bag that he sends, dude, has like 16 pockets on it. It's form-fitted for that guitar. It's got backpack straps. It's unbelievable. It's, got a it's like that freaking thick. Two it's, handles, actually. Yeah, and it's yeah. got a... It's amazing. And it's just, it, it probably costs more than most guitar cases. And I actually like it better. It's a nice little guitar case. It really mm -hmm. is. And it really cradles this. And he packaged <clears throat> it, man. You would have thought he was sending a freaking precious diamond or something, man. He packaged <laughs> it up so well. I was like, man, that's a huge box. Right. <laughs> This dude's a great dude, man. Make sure you check him out. We're not going to keep you guys much longer, but thanks for joining us again for another episode of the High Gain Series. Yeah. We're always on the hunt. Uh, we have a couple more we've already commissioned. Um, they're going to be building those, and as they build those, we're going to bring them to the channel, and we're going to introduce you to those luthiers too mm -hmm. to help you if you're kind of on the fence about trying to figure out what to buy and what not to buy. Yeah. So we, I think we have a total of 16 now. If you go back into the High Gain Series playlist on our channel, um, most of the big makers and the big, well, most of the big luthiers on this planet, not all, but a whole lot of them, we've already done reviews on. Yep. So at least it gives you something to, you know, look at as opposed to just looking at a picture or something on the internet. Yeah. You know, we've, we've almost doubled what we just initially honest. were going to do just don't for the High Gain Series. Just don't that in front of my wife. <laughs> So far, she hasn't killed me. So, all right, guys, listen, man, we're humbled. We appreciate you guys. And until next time. Stay tuned.